Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the addition of even more nationalities being added to the roster of those folks who are allowed into Thailand visa-free. Thought of making this video after reading a recent article from The Phuket News, that's thephuketnews.com. Article is titled, Airports prepare to implement visa-free policy. Quoting directly, Bangkok, the government has set up a command center to welcome tourists from India and Taiwan under the visa-free entry policy that will begin tomorrow, November 10th. So, again, a little, uh, little bit of old news here, but it's worth noting that India and Taiwan have now been added to the ranks of those passport holders who will be allowed to come to Thailand and enter without a visa beforehand. They can basically come in visa-free, visa-exempt, as we've discussed. Now, as I've discussed in other videos, there's been a lot of talk about where forthcoming tourists are going to spring from, if you will. And one thing that I think perhaps came out, what caught people by surprise coming out of the pandemic is India has proven to be a major source of tourists for Thailand. And we're seeing more and more of them coming. And quite honestly, they're turning out to be pretty beneficial source of tourists for Thailand. Now, now again, like with many nationalities, you know, they may have different sort of priorities when it comes to the things that they want to enjoy about tourism here. And they may not be the exact same priorities of tourists in the past. So there may be a difference in sort of the things that will attract Indian tourists and, you know, tourists from Taiwan as well. And again, this is sort of indicative of the changing nature of the tourism sector in Thailand, that where once it was kind of a, honestly, the tourism sector tended to focus on Western tourists. And then there was a big change with the influx of Chinese tourists roughly throughout the past decade, which that kind of came to an end with, with the imp imposition of lockdowns and, and the the pandemic response. And then now coming out of that, we're sort of seeing where, you know, with China's economy having some problems kind of heating back up, we're not seeing the same numbers of Chinese tourists down here in Thailand, but we are seeing tourists from other places. In fact, from places we haven't seen the levels and volume that we've seen from certain markets now here in 2023 going into 2024. And India is one of those markets. I, I don't think there's any doubt about that. That said, I think that this is good news all around, good news for everybody, people that want to come to Thailand to relax, have a good time, especially going into this high season. I think it's also good news for Thailand as more tourists presumably means more revenue. And if you're looking at it from a government perspective, more revenue means the possibility of more taxes, which is primarily what governments are concerned about. So it's kind of a win-win for everyone. It looks like you know positive things on the horizon. We will certainly keep you updated on this channel as the situation evolves.